Hi, I'm Irene. Thanks for joining us. We are delighted to have scientist Dr. Joe Ahrens, who has created a drug which can prevent the disease of Ebola from spreading. This has earned him a nomination for the Nobel Prize 2015. Welcome, Dr. Joe. Oh, thank you. I'm really good to be here. So we know that you and Daryl Thompson are both nominated for the Nobel Prize 2015 yes. on the creation of a drug called Equiva, which can prevent the diseases like Ebola, SARS and flu from spreading. Can you tell us more on the function of it? Well, um, Equivir, uh, this product that we discover works on the Ebola virus, but it is all uh, focused on the inflammatory response. First of all, you have a virus that attacks a cell and it recognizes the cell just like a handshake. Handshake? Just like a handshake. On the cell, the virus comes along. That's the first step in recognition. We inhibit that. But secondly, once the virus does happen to get into a cell, it does on some occasions, mm -hmm. then there's something called RNA polymerase, which makes the virus multiply itself. We inhibit that also. The third step, which makes uh, Ebola and dengue so different than like influenza and the common cold, mm -hmm. is that there's an inflammatory response that causes the cells to actually melt. Mm -hmm. The glue that holds cells together gives up and you get uh, a liquefaction and hemorrhage. Mm -hmm. So our process stops all three of those. How long have both of you working on this? Well, uh, we've been actively working on it about a year and a half, but uh, before that, we were already working on some viruses with uh, the United States Defense Department. Uh, to make sure that some viruses did not become weapons and we were working with them. Then when uh, Ebola came on the scene, uh, particularly last year, they recontacted us and said, look, why don't you take a look at uh, Ebola because you guys are experts in that inflammatory response. Mm -hmm. So we looked at it because we were already working on carbohydrate metabolism and a little bit on Alzheimer's the inflammatory part of that, and we said, yeah, I think we can do that. So we put a test in. We had it done at the University of Texas mm -hmm. uh, Level 4 Research Facility in San Antonio, and uh, we were very successful in overcoming uh, Ebola. What is the main reason that drive you to, uh, drive you to do this research, actually? Well, you know, there's a... Uh, We've always focused on meeting the problems of people that are underrepresented, actually, even our work with diabetes, Alzheimer's. And we saw that this area where Ebola was trouble was not a lot of help. Yeah. You know, a lot of major companies were not going after cures. How much money are they going to make mm -hmm. when people really needed help? Mm -hmm. We thought we could come up with an economical solution that uh, did not have to be refrigerated, was easy to distribute in parts of the world, such as Africa. Mm -hmm. And uh, working with colleagues there, we developed not only the drug, but uh, a, a distribution system. And if we're able now to do the next step, which is uh, primates, uh, then we'll be, and Ebola is still trouble, we'll be able to distribute this uh, uh, compound in Africa and in Southeast Asia. Mm, okay, actually we know that Ebola are uh, known as RNA viruses, so which can mutate rapidly. So how can your research help in solving this actually? Well, uh, there is a, a compound in our formula mm. that actually interferes with the duplication of those genes. You know, a virus has um, its ribose nucleotide as opposed to deribose nucleotide. That just means the, the, the genes are made up of this uh, sugar and bases and they replicate from one side to the other. It's like a thread being wrapped around each other and it yeah. untwists like this and then the, the body, our body, builds new pieces alongside each strand, so we end up with two strands and that's how that process works. It actually, the virus hijacks our cells to make us duplicate the virus instead of our own bodies. 
Well, this, this uh, completely eliminate, almost completely eliminates that process, which is called RNA polymerase duplication. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how does it work? Uh, how does it stop actually? Because um, is it works on the variants of viruses? Yes, mm -hmm. it'll work on any virus. Mm -hmm. You know, not just uh, Ebola. That's why it's so phenomenal. We've had success in the common cold, mm -hmm. uh, influenza. Mm -hmm. Not only a regular influenza, but uh, some resistant strains, Tamiflu resistant strains, mm -hmm. and of course the. Um, Ebola virus itself. So as long as you have an ability to stop the RNA polymerase, that's the unraveling and the duplication, and then it's called the repackaging of the uh, m genetic material, that greatly inhibits that. But you've also got to stop the inflammatory process. The difference between Ebola and uh, influenza is that inflammatory response. So if you do get some invasion, mm. replication, and then leaving the body, you get that inflammatory response and you've got to stop that because that's the difference between like influenza and Ebola. So uh, you talk about can prevent a lot of different viruses, right? How about dengue? The dengue case in Malaysia is quite serious. Yes. So how, is it can cure about these things? Well, dengue is uh, very important in this part of the world for sure. Actually, we have some dengue in South Texas and in Key West, Florida. We, it's very it's same, but it's it's small. Mm -hmm. Here it's a it's very difficult. Well, this also does appear to work with dengue. It absolutely does. Now the difference between mm -hmm. dengue and Ebola, the front end is the same. Mm -hmm. You have a very similar infection. You have a very similar replication, but the inflammatory part is different. Instead of you melting, this triggers excessive pain and dehydration mm. and uh, it's really a nightmare to, to have to be stuck with this and it continue for a long time completely exhaust people but you actually don't melt mm. like you do it's not a hemorrhagic fever mm. like you have in Ebola nevertheless mm. it's identical in its severity much more here severe than actually Ebola itself mm. there were not that many worldwide cases of Ebola mm. while there's dengue it's continuously here and it's got a strong impact on not only the personal issues but just the economic activity of the country. So likewise, it inhibits the, in, the uh, initiating of the recognition, mm -hmm. the handshake, mm -hmm. stops that. Mm -hmm. Then it stops the uh, replication inside by inhibiting RNA polymerase. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, it stops the inflammatory response mm -hmm. and you don't get that uh, pain and severe breakdown. As what I know, uh, because your uh, research, right, is all uh, come from natural ingredients. So is it uh, can only be uh, consumed by your capsules or actually uh, we take our daily uh, consumes can get same effect as what we take from the capsule, uh, capsules as well? Well, yeah. this is a natural product. And you know, just because you say something's a natural product does not mean mm. it is not as strong or powerful as a synthetic drug. Yeah, that's some people I mean, that's sometimes very important. think that. It's yeah. right. And most people think, oh, this is a, a real medicine, or this is a synthetic medicine, or this is something natural. You know, penicillin itself, the best drug, one of the best drugs we've ever had, is a natural ingredient was found in, in malt. Uh, aspirin, mm. probably the biggest drug ever sold, is also found f from nature. And uh, even some of these uh, drugs we take from, uh, for cholesterol, they also, like Lipitor, mm. it's, a, it's right out of uh, nature. Red rice yeast uh, is where it came from. So we have a natural product that uh, can be taken without consequence. You cannot overdose with it. It's, it's impossible. So I think we have the best of both worlds. We've got a product that's natural. Mm -hmm. It can't be, it does not interfere with another drug. There's no drug interaction. Mm -hmm. And it's very, uh, it works quickly. It does not need to be refrigerated. It's handled very easily and you can't overdose on it. Yeah, people will think about when taking any drugs, they will uh, think about the consequences of side effect. So because it's come from natural, so uh, yes. basically we don't need to worry about it, right? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, that's another reason that we got uh, fast forwarded in our research because mm. it, was, it was already known that these products were safe and natural. Okay, I guess all for today. Thank you, Dr. Jo. Thanks for your sharing. Nice to have you here in Malaysia. Thank you. Very good to be here. Thank you.